Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it has been forever and trust me, it's been killing me that I have not been filming, um, but it's just been chaos. Like my life has been like a whirlwind, just with wedding planning, trying to find a home, different things happening with work and it's just like it's a lot so I've actually been um, more active on Instagram so if you miss me so much head over there <laughs> but yeah I really I need to kick my game up with videos I just woke up and I'm so tired so excuse me <laughs> I am going to Illinois today um, to spend Easter with my Nana so I just figured why not do what's in a travel bag uh, video? Just cause I feel like I've never actually done one of those before. Let me, I need to scoot in cause my butt's uncomfortable. All right, so first of all, I went to um, TJ Maxx the other night and I needed a bag for my makeup because what I was using is just kind of like a little, it's like a little Wonder Woman bag that I'd gotten from Walgreens. Um, but it was just like one single pouch it wasn't like any compartments or anything and i felt like it was really hard to do my makeup when i got to wherever it is that i was going because there was no order to anything like it was literally i just had to basically unpack the entire bag use everything and then try to put everything back in the bag which was basically like a game of tetris every single time i like this bag i still want to get a different one though um there are other ones that have like different types of compartments that i'm wanting to get off of amazon but because i decided to get this like two days before i left i didn't have time to get something off of amazon <laughs> so i did end up finding something um from tj maxx it's by amy kestenberg i've never heard of her before but it looks like this basically and um yeah this was i think $12.99 I want to say $12.99 or $13.99 I'm pretty sure that it was $12.99 um it kind of just unzips and then opens up flat like this and let me see it has like these little side things that flop out here and here it also has like a little hanger which is really nice because if I need to like hang it up while I'm doing my makeup that's really awesome so there's this compartment this big one right here and then there is gosh come on this one that has like three separate little compartments and then there's this like little cloth bag part and this one actually comes detached like you can actually like unzip it off of there so i'm gonna go like in depth as to like what is in these bag this these like little pouches here but i just wanted to kind of give you guys like just to let you see like how everything is so in this top little pouch right here that folds out i just have like a couple highlighters and then my eyeshadow and then as far as this big pouch right here i put like my foundation concealer powders bronzer you know everything basically for my skin in this one and then in these three little compartments this one is all of my eyebrow stuff everything that i use for my eyebrows and then this one is like like mascara, eyeliner, lashes, um, eyeshadow primer. And then this one is my moisturizer and my NIAID photography fluid. Um, I love this stuff, so I couldn't leave without that. <laughs> um, I have a fan because I'm extra and I like to spray my face and then fan it. And then in this little pouch right here is just where like all my brushes and where I will put my Real Technique sponge. I'm sorry if this mirror is gonna be in the way the struggle always 100% of the times. I'm just gonna start off by moisturizing which you guys saw in that little um the little pouch next to the Naya photography fluid. Um, I'm just using the Philosophy Purity um moisturizer. My brain is not awake right now guys you have no idea <laughs> but I've just been liking this one as a moisturizer because it's a really light moisturizer so it doesn't like make my face feel oily or anything underneath. What's everybody been up to? I've been gone. I've been gone for a while, guys, and I'm, I apologize. I'm sorry. I assume we all probably know about the Anastasia PR search that was going on there for a little bit. That had me, that had me stressed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Like, I was trying to put out so many looks, like one right after the other. That's, what, that's another reason why I wasn't like on here because I was so active on like Twitter and Instagram. Um, so yeah, that was a lot. I didn't make the list if anyone was wondering. <laughs> it's fine. We'll get there eventually. Okay, so then I'm going to go back into like that big face, face zipper there. And I'm bringing two different primers, um, 
because I want to. So I'm bringing the Smashbox Photo Finish uh, color adjusting primer right here, but I'm not going to use that one today. Um, but I'm also using the, I'm going to bring the Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer. Um, I got the Cucumber scent just because I really like cucumbers. Um, and I'm actually going to use this one today because, I don't know if you can tell, but my skin is peeling right here because I got a little bit of sunburn this past Thursday. <laughs> Preston brought his dog over and my mom and I spent the whole day with him and we he's so cute like we didn't want to go inside so we ended up staying outside all day but like it was one of those days that was super hazy so it tricked you into thinking that it was bad weather when the sun was just burning me the entire time. I have like a random patch of sunburn like right above my ankle that's just like this big. <laughs> I love this primer too. I don't think I've talked about this one um because i think i got it like during the time i wasn't filming um but it's really i really like it a lot um especially when your face is like really dry or really just like not feeling great it literally feels like your face just took a big old gulp of water <laughs> that's what it feels like i love it it's super hydrating plus i love the smell because i just love anything cucumbery it makes me think of like a spa. <laughs> I am like running out of this. I did not realize that I'm like this close to being empty. And also if you guys can't tell already I've been self tanning the past few days because it's time. It's time to be tan again. Been using the Josie Marin. I did use the James Reed. I used the last bit of the James Reed. I got real sad about it. I'm never I'm never giving away or throwing away the bottle though because if you guys have watched my uh, James Reed tanning video from last year you'll know you'll know it's so special I cannot have a single cup of coffee without a cat hair getting into it it's not fair as far as like foundations go I'm bringing two I'm bringing a liquid and a powder just because like with the glow that I have to my skin I feel like I have not had to do too much foundation on except for this freaking crap that started like last night so i'm actually bringing both of them are it cosmetics and i didn't realize this until just now <laughs> but i'm bringing my it cosmetics cc plus um foundation because i just absolutely love this and i'm finally the same color <laughs> that i need for this um also i'm bringing the it cosmetics um I don't know the official name of this, but it's their powder, their pressed powder foundation right here. Um, and I think, I want to say that this is in the shade light. Both of these are. Don't quote me. This one definitely is. I think this one is. <laughs> I'm just going to bring them both just because, like, if I don't feel like doing makeup one day, like, too much, this is super easy just to, like, throw on, just buff it on a little bit just to even out my skin tone. Um, I'm not going to be using that one today, though, just because I have time to get ready. And I'm just going to take, like, one and a half pumps of that because... A little bit goes a long way and I'm using my real technique sponge I'm still really loving this by the way I um borderline like it more than the beauty blender the only thing that kind of drives me nuts about these is that um the foundation and the product like kind of like clumps into the sponge and it's kind of hard to like wash out <laughs> like you can you can do it but it just is like a frustrating thing to have to do. I did see somewhere that like Beauty Blender is like made specifically to not do that so that's kind of cool. Guys my little sister broke part of her arm this last weekend. She's five almost six it's really sad. She um we have this like big planter box like right off of our porch and it's like it's not too tall for a grown human being, but it's pretty darn tall for a five-year-old. Um, but she was apparently out there climbing on it, and my dad had told her to get down just because he didn't want her to get hurt. So what does she do? She gets hurt. <laughs> she, like, somehow fell off, like, backwards and landed on her wrist and broke, like, both of these two bones right here that, like, lead to your wrist. It's real sad. I feel terrible for her. She's so cute. Um... But my mom is actually getting ready to take her to the doctor now because they need to actually like officially put like the hard cast on um so yeah that's that's been a whole thing it's real sad it she hasn't been letting it get her down though she was dancing like the night that she had surgery so <laughs> how wonderful it would be to be five again i stand too long at work and my back kills me and i complain she breaks her arm and she's dancing the next minute I feel like this is going to be like a chatty video because I haven't been on here in forever. I haven't been able to tell anything. I'm like significantly 
like into wedding planning at this point like the biggest things that I'm trying to work on right now is like food and finding a place to make the cake and then after that it's just kind of like little details like kind of just making sure that the decorations are all done and all that type of stuff and all planned out but yeah we have pretty much like everything planned we have like a DJ we have the photographer we have a videographer which I'm really really happy about because I really wanted a wedding video um, and these people are actually really cool they have like a drone that they have um, so I'm hoping that they're able to use that like I hope that the weather permits and I hope that they're like able to do it like where we're getting married that would be awesome I obviously have my dress that was like the first thing I got <laughs> Truly. We have like a whole bunch of decorations. I've spent way too much money at Hobby Lobby in the past couple weeks, but it's fine. It's alright. It's okay. Hobby Lobby is one of those places that I feel like I have like a DIY idea in my head and then I walk in like looking for bits to help me make that DIY project and then they just happen to have exactly what I want for like a quarter of the price. So like <laughs> there are like numerous signs that I was going to try to make and I walked into Hobby Lobby and it was like all incredibly cheap and then 50% off of that. So I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> okay, so then another thing that's in that face little pouch there is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye um, Concealer in Medium. Um, this is the illumination one, but it doesn't matter. I'm powdering it and it doesn't end up being illuminated. Um, but this is the medium of the concealer from the Bye Bye Under Eye Um like these little things go with the light shade of the CC plus cream just so you know um, if you're wanting it to blend seamlessly like if you're wanting to put it like under your eyes and like highlight areas it probably wouldn't work you'd probably want to go with like the light or whatever um, but yeah the medium shade goes with the light foundation we have our wedding rings that's another thing that we found got those like a while back I found his on zales.com and I actually found mine on overstock.com it's so freaking pretty like I've been seriously upset that I haven't been able to wear it to be honest <laughs> it's gorgeous which I will show you guys in in time I will show you I'm trying to not talk too much about details on here because people that I know that are going are gonna probably be watching this video and I don't want you guys to know things yet <laughs> You're not allowed. <laughs> I was like, our DJ has like a like a reception planner thing where he literally walks you through like each like memorable song that you need, like father daughter dance, mother son dance, all that type of stuff. And so I'd been trying to figure that out for a while, just because I love music and it's very hard for me to decide on certain songs because I like so many of them. Um, so that was like a big thing that I was trying to work through, and I actually like finally finished it the other day and I'm so excited. I will tell you guys one thing. Um our like first dance song between Preston and I is going to be Can't Help Falling in Love, but it's not gonna be like what is it? Is it Elvis's original? I don't know. But apparently Twenty One Pilots actually did like a cover of it and oh my goodness like my favorite song I knew that that was gonna be my first dance song like three years ago okay it was not up for discussion Preston had no say in that but he's been really good through the entire like the whole planning process though he um he'll help when I need him to help but he is not good with this type of stuff so he has basically fully given me control so that's been really nice because I'm a control freak so all right so next um I packed the elf uh, powder which honestly I'm not even 100% sure if the powder that is in here is from elf it might be from Mac um, but I'm not positive I ran out of like all my face powder that I actually like um, also they're like bigger than what this is this is like a smaller container and I like this would have been my second choice of the wet n wild um, photo focus translucent powder which let me say this is not translucent this makes my face slightly darker so don't be fooled I love this and it is really good but don't think that you're getting a full-on translucent powder with this one just letting you know it's it's a different size so it just kind of this one fit better I don't know but yeah so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this to set a little bit of my face 
actually I lied I'm gonna do this first so I'm gonna take my Laura Geller um, incredible waterproof gel liner and brown sugar this is what I always use to kind of bring my freckles back and I'm gonna do this before I powder my face because I feel like if you do it right after your foundation and before you powder your face and like layer everything else on top of it it looks more natural I'm just bringing back these couple little freckles that I have um, that get kind of concealed by everything I feel like even like especially when you have a slight glow to your skin it's just cute to have some freckles <laughs> last night Preston and I were watching that show uh, what's it called Tacoma FD it just came out I think it's on true TV I think that's the channel that it came out on but it's like some of the guys from super troopers and I love it it's so funny oh my gosh I love super troopers so much those guys are hilarious we caught up on like all of the episodes last night because it's new obviously and it just is like it's so funny that guy that plays farva is just too much <laughs> like he just cracks me up i don't know he, he's crazy oh another thing that's been happening lately i have a freaking village of of birds that apparently have decided to take up residence in my ceiling and on top of the house <sighs> i love birds trust me like I think they're adorable I think they're sweet little creatures and I love them but not when they are on top of my house at freaking seven o'clock in the morning on a Saturday when I'm trying to sleep in and they're just like and they're in two different places like one day I, st I heard them right above me they're right up here right above here and they had gotten into the dormer like they had pulled something on the siding off and were able to get into the ceiling basically so it was like any day that i was in here trying to get cleaned up all i heard was just like <laughs> like just little feet tapping around which that was okay Ugh. I sucked the hair into my mouth. Where did that come from? But it was okay. Like it didn't bother me. You know, it was it was just kind of like a little annoying. You know. Well, <laughs> did I know that uh, there's like a peak um, to my house right above my room here, and more birds started getting into the the little corner up there. They somehow pulled that part off and were getting in there, and like. I, it literally was waking me up in the morning because those ones if you've ever had construction towards your like near your house and you've had to have um like if they needed to kind of drill rock away that big big machine that they use that's like -da 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 I don't even know what it is but like wakes you up way too early in the morning that is what it sounded like but right on top of my ceiling I love birds and I am not the type to hurt any type of animal but I could have killed those birds okay <laughs> my dad actually when my little sister broke her arm this is what my dad was doing he actually had climbed up on top of the roof and was putting a fake owl up there which thank the Lord finally freaking scared them off but now they've somehow like started coming back above me and I'm hoping that they didn't break the siding off again because it's really annoying Oh, and this brush is just a BH Cosmetics brush. I can't remember the number. I think it's like 124 or something like that. Um, it came in like a set and it's the name has been rubbed off forever. I don't love this powder. It's not my favorite. All right, so the next thing that I have in here, I've actually been using the Bare Minerals Clear Radiance um, lately just because it like has been adding a glow to my skin I had used um powder foundation one day and it just looked too chalky and was too drying um and then I put that on and it just kind of like added that glow that I like I've been getting back into bare minerals I feel like bare minerals is always a thing that comes back around for me um when it starts warming up because I'm like I don't feel like caking a bunch of foundation on so I'm just like eh. so I'm just gonna take a little bit and just kind of lightly buff it all over my skin here and it borderline has kind of like a pinkish tint to it. It kind of somewhat reminds me of that um, that Becca powder that I have that's like really pink, but you have to be careful with it. Um, only this has kind of more of a glow to it rather than just the pink. But it kind of just helps to like brighten up your face a little bit. Oh, I got piercings also. I don't think I've filmed a video since that. I, um, I got my cartilage redone right here and I got my conch done. So that's cool. They're still... They're still healing. <laughs> this my cartilage is doing a lot better. I actually had already had my cartilage done um, like years ago, and but it was done like wrong. It was done with the like 
the little gun thing that you get like your lobes pierced with um and it ended up like shattering the cartilage and it just kind of got really uncomfortable so i ended up letting it heal up um but i really wanted it back so i did that and my conch at the same time which has been a struggle and a blessing because if i had done them separately i don't think that i would have gone back to get my cartilage done um just because i'm a big wimp when it comes to piercings i'm more of a tattoo person <laughs> Um, but yeah, this, my cartilage I'm finally, like, able to somewhat sleep on, um, whereas the conch, it's still, it's still quite sore. It's been, like, a month now, so. I have found out, though, if you have new piercings, or if you're going to have new piercings, or anything like that, um, sleeping on, like, a travel neck pillow with your ear in the hole, like, not wrapped around your neck, but just, like, laying like this, um, it's amazing. <laughs> like, it has been so amazing to me because I'm a left side sleeper and to not be able to sleep on my side had been so difficult which now I finally can because this is feeling better but um that has helped me tre tremendously so if you're having trouble sleeping because you have new piercings try that out oh my gosh my forehead is peeling so bad you know what? it's fine we're just gonna ignore it we're gonna just pretend that it's not there it's okay it's all right Oh, and this is um, the It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Wand Ball Powder Brush. It's the number eight one. Um, this is what I'll probably end up using if I use the powder foundation. All right, so then I'm also, I'm going to take another one of these little BH Cosmetics brush. It came in the little pack of them. And I'm going to use my butter bronzer, which I'm definitely taking because it's my favorite bronzer. I'm just going to use this to bronze my forehead. All right, so then as far as contour, I'm bringing my um, light to medium contour kit from Anastasia and my Fiona Styles um, sheer sculpting palette in light medium. They both have shades in them that I need, and I'm also bringing my little bamboo naturals brush just because it's like my favorite favorite contour brush. I also have my little Sephora Pro Cream Shadow Brush number 28 because this is what I really like to use to contour my nose. All right, and then as far as blush, I'm only taking one. Um, I'm taking Pinch Me by MAC, just because I feel like this one is a really nice one for, like, warm weather. Oh, and this little brush is just, like, a random blush brush that I have. It's not anything super fancy. I can't even remember the name of it. All right, so then I'm just going to get into that very top pal or um, top pocket here. And I'm going to, let me see, I'm bringing two different highlighters. Um, I'm bringing the Mary Luminizer and the Bonnie Luminizer. Um, the Mary Luminizer, if this fades start, or this tan starts to fade and I don't get a chance to touch it up just because it works better on um, like a lighter toned skin. Not that it wouldn't look good like this, but I just prefer it on lighter. And then um, my Bonnie Luminizer, I'm actually going to use today because it just works really well on a tan. I really like it. And it just looks like that. And I'm just bringing my Sonia Kashuk 109 brush because this is my favorite highlighting brush. All right, so now I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows. So I'm going to grab into that like first little sectioned off pocket here. And um, oh, I always bring this Bare Minerals little kabuki brush just because I feel like sometimes um, when doing my brows, there can get like little powdery bits or little like, I don't know, just whatever. And like this, I kind of just like use to brush off any of that. And I brought um, the Chocolate Brow Definer by Anastasia. And I'm also bringing the L'Oreal um, Brow Stylist in, what is this? I think it's in Brunette. Yeah, Brunette. Um, just because this one's almost gone and this one I still really like. All right, so I'm also taking um, this little like brow powder compact thing from Wet n Wild. Um, I've really been liking to use the darker shade on the arch to tail of my brow just to kind of deepen it up a little bit. And I've been using the Anastasia number 12 um, little brow brush, brush, brow brush right here. And let me tell you, if you guys have not tried this, you're missing out because you really, you need to give this a try if you're trying to use like a, an angled brush for your brows. Whether you're using the dip brow pomade, um, a powder, whatever it is that you're using, this little brush is perfect because it's like one of those ones that it's angled, but it doesn't end up like fraying outwards. So therefore it ends up just keeping that really sharp edge to it. Um, and I love it. I love it a lot. And it has like a little spoolie on the end. Or so I'm also bringing, boo, I'm also bringing the L'Oreal um, Infallible Full Wear Concealer because I've been just using this to carve out my brows. Um, and the Morphe B10 brush because I love this to contour or to contour. <laughs> I love it to carve out my brows. Um, also, if I'm feeling fancy wanting to do a cut crease, it's amazing. Oh my gosh, guys, guess what? There's an Ulta 
that's about to open literally across the town from me. This is a big deal. This is a, this is a very big deal, guys. You don't understand because the closest Ulta or Sephora, like any makeup store <laughs> is like 30 to 45 minutes away, which is like fine. But like when like 21 days of beauty is around or like when I just need something really quick, just need to stop in and then go, it's a, like really, really quite hard to plan out a 30 to 45 minute drive all the way. Um, so the fact that an Ulta is about to open literally within like the week, I think, week, week and a half, um, is very exciting to me. <laughs> I'm also bringing the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, just so you know, just to keep my brows in place. But yes, I'm very excited. Um, just because, like, there's just certain things that you can get at Ulta that you just can't get anywhere else. And honestly, I've been waiting for so long, <laughs> like, so long for my area to get a makeup store. Um, which is crazy to me that we haven't had one yet. I just feel like the area that I live in is very much the type that, like, it would make sense. It just makes sense. I'm literally smack dad in between three <clears throat> colleges. So like <laughs> you would think with that many people, like you could sustain a makeup store. It better because let me tell you what, if it goes out of business, I'd be so mad. <laughs> I have a lot of trips this year and it's like, it's kind of crazy because I never really travel this much. Um, but there's just a lot going on this year. So obviously we're going to Illinois today. We're staying there for like about a week. Um, not, not like a full week, but almost. And then after that, after we get back next weekend, I'm actually going to Atlanta with Preston to see some friends, um, two of my bridesmaids actually. <laughs> hey Lois and Ricky. <laughs> so yes, we're gonna go down there. And um, my friend Lois actually had a baby not long ago, like literally in January. So I'm like so excited because I've only seen her once and it was literally for like five minutes. <laughs> because she just like stopped into the salon um so it'll be so nice to actually see her and like see the baby like in action her name is um liani it's so pretty i love it so yeah i'm so excited about that but that's next weekend and then in june i'm going up to new york for a week for my cousin's wedding and then what else am i doing after that so then after that i, th I think it's just like my wedding that i have to focus on and then obviously like a honeymoon, so I don't know where we're going for that, if we're going like far away. I don't know, I don't know what we're doing, but there's just, there's more traveling this year than I have ever traveled. <laughs> that, that's like nothing to some people, but seriously, like it's crazy to me. Okay, so then kind of in that middle pouch, the of the three sectioned ones, I am bringing the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer, which I'm almost out of, so hopefully I have time to pick some up before I go. I'm not like doing too much with my eyeshadow today, I'm just gonna do like a little bit of something. I really, I really am contemplating bringing the James Charles palette. Um, it's ginormous and it's definitely not gonna fit in this bag. Um, so I'm gonna have to find, like figure out a way to transport it. Um, but I'm like, like, am I gonna use it while I'm out there? Cause like, I love it and I, I use it pretty much every single day, but it's like, do I need it? <laughs> do I absolutely need it or can I, come on or can I get by like with the couple shadows that I'm taking all right so also in this little pouch just because I don't know if I'm gonna end up like using every single thing that's in here um I have my duo lash glue um the L'Oreal voluminous mascara um I have this little guy right here that I always use to kind of just help with mascara and lashes and all that um I'm bringing this little spoolie guy because I use this um to kind of like clean off my lashes each day and kind of like to curl them a little bit um, I'm bringing these little scissors because I feel like you always need little scissors. And I'm bringing some tweezers for my lashes. Um, and then, let me see here. I'm bringing the L'Oreal Infallible um, Blackest Black Little Gel Pot Liner here. And I'm actually taking the NARS uh, number 38 little angled brush right here. I actually bought this when I went to Gatlinburg and this was in my vlog. Um, and I had kind of wanted to use it on my brows, but this is one of those ones that the little, like the little hairs kind of separate a little bit. So I didn't like it for my brows, but it is an amazing eyeliner brush. Like seriously amazing. I don't know why I didn't try gel liner earlier, um, but it's, it's amazing. I love it. But yeah, so that's everything there. And then you guys saw in that last little pocket, it's just my moisturizer and the Nyon photography fluid. Oh, and I'm also putting my little eyelash case just in the middle one here. 
So as far as eyeshadows, I'm taking, let me see. So I have this little Makeup Geek, like little Z palette type of thing right here. And I'm taking this little assortment here. Cause I blonde you guys with the mirror. So I'm taking Shimma Shimma because I just feel like that's like my favorite brow bone inner corner highlight. Um, I'm taking Beaches and Cream because that's like an amazing transition shade. Then I'm taking Bandwagon, Vintage, and Corrupt just because they like make a really good like kind of deep in crease area. Um, and then I always love red eyeshadow so I'm just taking uh, Love Sick from Melt um, just for kind of like a little pop of color. So I'm also taking Brown Script from MAC because I love this eyeshadow. I will always love this eyeshadow. This is actually one of the first eyeshadows ever that I fully completely used in a pan like I never used a full eyeshadow before <laughs> this one um, so I'm taking this this is obviously not the original and then I'm actually taking chocolate from TG because this is like my favorite deep brown shade and that's it for eyeshadows can I make do with only that I really want to take the James Charles palette but I just don't think that I have room for it this time and it makes me really quite sad <laughs> there's just so many brushes and they're just everywhere. Like, it would be so much easier to have them separated. But I'm just going to run really quick uh, through all these. So I have this little Glam and Beauty brush just from Walmart. Just because it helps with, like, covering the lash band. And if I do a cut crease, it helps with that. I already showed you the Bamboo Naturals brush. Um, these BH Cosmetics brush right, brushes right here. I'm taking those. I already showed you the It brush right here. My little no-name blush brush. And the Sonia Kashuk 109 I showed you. The Sephora Pro Cream <clears throat> Shadow Brush I showed you. Um, I'm also taking the Doll 10 Number no. 3 brush. It's like a little dual, like dual-sided one. Um, I'm taking this because if I do my eyeshadow before my foundation, I actually use this little guy right here to kind of blend underneath into my eyeshadow so that it doesn't like leave weird lines or anything. So I'm going to take that one. I'm also taking a fan brush from Kala, um, just because this helps to like really brush off any like little bits of mascara or anything that flick down. Um, I'm taking my Kala uh, for 415? Yes. Kala 415. Right? <laughs> I'm taking this because it's my favorite blending brush. Um, I'm taking this little e.l.f. Um, small smudging brush just because it helps with like little detail work. Um, the Morphe M506 brush. I love this for everything. But the morphe m560 and the morphe m e or e24 um they're kind of the same but they're just kind of different in size um the morphe mb47 little flat top guy right here the morphe e13 it's like a big fluffy um kind of flat brush the japanesque 230 um morphe m535 i love this brush just one of the little e.l.f. concealer brushes, again, for just like little concealer things, little detail work. Um, my little MAC shadow brush that doesn't have a number. <laughs> and then the Morphe M330. So those are all of my brushes that I'm taking with me. And then I'm just, I'm just gonna do like a little something with my eyeshadow. I'm not feeling super, super fancy today, but I'm just gonna give a little bit of something. I'm gonna go ahead and do this eyeshadow look and do the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. Probably pop on my um, Salon Perfect 614s and do like all that type of stuff. My battery is yelling at me right now, so I'm gonna need to charge my battery for a little bit. <laughs> okay, so my battery still is not fully uh, charged, so hopefully this doesn't die in this last little bit here. But um, I haven't done my lashes yet just because um, I actually ordered lashes in the mail from this little company called uh, Moon Girl Cosmetics that like literally just opened down in Florida. Um, and so I ordered some lashes from her and I ordered like a neon um, pigment bundle. <clears throat> so both of those are supposed to be coming in the mail. Um, I feel like this always happens every single time I'm going on a trip. I have something that is coming in the mail that's going to be delivered the day that I leave. <laughs> so it's 9.30 right now. I'm hoping... I'm really, really hoping that the mailman gets here before we leave because I really want to take those lashes with me because they're gorgeous. So I'm just leaving these off for right now because I'm going to go check the mailbox and just see if they're out there. Um, but if they're not here, I'm just going to put on my Salon Perfect 614s um, and I'm going to take those. 
So I just wanted to show you like the last couple things that are in here and I just kind of wanted to like finish this video out. So I used the St. Ives face mist. Um, this one I got from Influencer. And I actually really, really like it. It's just like a regular old face mist. It's not like a makeup setting spray or anything, but you can put it on like before, after makeup, throughout the day, whatever. It's one of those types of things. Um, and it's like a lavender scent one. So it smells really good. It smells kind of like candy cookies ish <laughs> so I really like this one I'm taking this one with me um, I just feel like it really makes my face like everything kind of set in a little bit better and I'm taking my simple makeup wipes which these will not fit in the bag so I'm just gonna have to throw these in somewhere else and then the last thing that I kind of wanted to show you guys is on this bag there's this little front part has a zipper right here and that's kind of just where I threw in some of my lip stuff just because there wasn't any room anywhere else so i'm gonna be honest i'm probably not even gonna use like any of these lip products that's just always how it happens i take lip, lip stuff just in case but then i never end up actually using it um so recently i found that maybelline what is this one maybelline bear all lipstick mixed with um the balms my oh <laughs> my bills be paid <laughs> that's funny um both of these lipsticks mixed bleh, mixed together is like a perfect nude for me um so this one is just a little bit too light the Maybelline one it's like one of those ones that you put on and it kind of looks like death um and then this one from the balm is just a little bit too drying so the two of them mixed together is just like perfect nude um so I'm taking both of <clears throat> both of these with me just because you can never have enough nude lipsticks and then I'm also taking the MAC cultured lip liner because that one goes really well with that um, I'm also taking the I'm taking two MAC lipsticks I'm taking blankety which is this one right here and I'm taking the at Jamie Genevieve because come on <laughs> so I actually I love both of these separately but I've actually really been liking mixing them too um, just because of the consistency of them I just feel like they work really well together um those also work really well with the cultured lip liner which is why this is the only one that i'm bringing and then i'm going to take two different lip glosses i'm going to take my mac um dazzle glass in dress to dazzle this is literally probably my favorite lip gloss i mean as you can tell it's like almost gone pretty much um it just i don't know i've never had as many compliments on just like somewhat of a clear gloss it's not fully clear it has like a little bit of shimmer to it um and it kind of it looks like it's a color, but it kind of, it comes out more clear, but I love this one. I need it in my life. Um, and I'm also taking the Anastasia lip gloss in sepia right here. Um, just because I really like the look of this one when I'm just wanting kind of like a darker lip. So it's kind of just like a brown lip gloss, which I didn't think I was going to like, but I actually really like this one. All right, guys. So I think that that is it. That's pretty much everything. I'm going to hopefully go find my lashes in the mailbox <laughs> and I will kind of keep you guys updated. Um, I'll show you the lashes when they do eventually come in. Um, and I'll also do a video on the neon pigments because I'm really excited about them. I don't have like anything neon, so I'm really Really, really pumped to work with them. All right, guys, so I'm gonna hurry up and go finish packing because I still have last minute things to do. So, <laughs> all right, guys, so I hope you liked this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button down below and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, I swear to you, I'm going to get better about doing my videos. So, I hope you all have a great day and I hope you all have a great Easter or had a great Easter whenever this video actually goes up. I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, whatever time of day it is. <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye.